Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, we're going to give you a review now on the ANOVA 3100 uh, CAN OBD2 um, Diagnostics Tool. First off, this thing is only for ODB2 vehicles, okay, for 1996 and onward, okay. Um, you cannot plug this thing into an ODB1 uh, ported vehicle. It's not going to work. So you need an actual ODB1 scan tool for that. Um, now, the things that this thing does not do, okay, just so that you're aware, um, it does not do uh, SRS, ABS, it does not do transmission, it does not do live data feed. It does do freeze frame stuff though, which is fine. Um, now, that being out of the way, the tool costs 200 bucks new. Um, I picked it up for 90 bucks at Canadian Tire on sale, so it was a good deal. Um, and I needed a scan tool uh, the other day because my stepson's car threw a check engine light up, so we needed to know what was going on. The newer the cars, the more stuff that can go wrong, right? Um, that's fine. Um, even at 200 bucks, I'm going to tell you right now, it's worth every penny. Okay, so if I had to pay 200, I would have paid 200 because it really is worth the money. And one of the biggest features that makes this thing worth all that extra, you know, is the fact that it has an e-test error, e-test system in it. And every ANOVA tool, even their cheapest uh, little reader, has an e-test system in it. Now, e-test may not mean a lot to a lot of people. It's like, oh, this is kind of foreign language to me. What's he talking about? Um, it's your emission stuff, your catalytic converter, your oxygen sensor, your EVAP unit, stuff like that, okay? Emission stuff. Stuff that's also related to how healthy your engine's running. Whether or not you're going to chew a ton of gas or hardly any gas at all, okay? Your emission system has to be kept up to date and running and functioning properly. And I have yet to see any scan tools on the market that have an e-tester system built into it other than the Innovas and every single one of their tools bottom of the barrel right on up to their top of the line model that they make all have it it's a great little feature and that feature alone i'm not kidding yet neither are they it is actually worth a hundred dollars or more just to get that feature or having to even buy just a separate tester alone to do your e-test you know i mean this tool overall i'm going to give you the bottom line it's going to be a four out of five because i always give a four out of five uh, on a really awesome tool. I never do a 5 out of 5 because nothing in this world is perfect. And of course there's stuff this thing doesn't do. And even if it did do everything, it's still not a 5 out of 5. There's nothing absolutely perfect in this world. Um, but if you were to go 5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 and put that on into a 10 scale, okay? So on, on a 10 scale we're talking, you know, 7 out of 10, you know? Or it could be uh, 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 6 out of 10 four items that it doesn't do uh big whoop but hey it's a couple of items you know and they weren't important items to me at the time because it was only a check engine light and i just needed uh, a scan tool period you know and this one happened to be on sale for 90 bucks hey it fit the bill and if it wasn't on sale i still would have bought it anyway for 200 because it is really it is worth the 200 you're getting your money's worth and more um with these particular tools from anova um, now, like I said, it doesn't work on ODB1, it's only ODB2. Um, there are some 2004, 2005 vehicles that are ODB2, so you're going to need it for, for those cars, even though, yes, they don't say 2006, um, but they are ODB2, and the bottom line is the tool is going to work on them because they are ODB2. And you'll find that out on um, underneath your engine somewhere, either on the frame or the hood, it'll say, you know, ODB2 compliant. Um, then you know that your 2004 2005 vehicle is actually odb2 not odb1 if uh, that sticker is not there i would suggest looking at the port just in case and take a look at the difference in ports between a, a between a one and a two and they are different the way they uh, plug in so you know you're going to know right from there um, if it's a one or a two most likely most cars are going to be an odb1 when they're below 1996 so, and this thing works with every car, like every single car, light truck, SUV, and minivan from 96 and up, okay, that has ODB2, okay, and that includes um, foreign cars, you know, etc., okay, like Toyota, Mazdas, Nissans, etc. In fact, it was the Nissan we plugged this one into. Um, works. 
No VIN numbers to put in. Even better. Plug and play, literally. Okay? 15 seconds, you got your answer of what's going on with your check engine light. Um, it has not only the code, it also gives you a uh, definition of that code. Okay, so let's say for example you got a PO306 code. That's a cylinder 6 misfires detected uh, code. Um, and just to show you, this is how the tool would look, fired up and scanned. This is all your monitors here. This is how many codes you have. This is, of course, they're on their second code. Uh, MIL is uh, malfunctioning indicator lamp. Uh, pending codes, permanent codes, freeze frame stuff. Um, memory, computer hooked in. If you're hooked into your laptop or desktop. Car hooked in. This is your indication light for your um, connection to the computer uh, on, the, on the vehicle. Um, this is your code, P030. P0306, cylinder 6 misfire detected. So code and definition. It doesn't tell you how to fix it, but we're getting to that. These are all your status lights, and some cars will use all of these, some will use some of these, some of them will use very little of these. Okay, it just depends on the vehicle, make, manufacture, model year, etc. Okay, very cool. Emission status stuff. Green light means you're going to pass an emission test when you go in for one. Yellow means you've got some pending stuff you should really take a look at because you, at that point on a yellow code you got a 50-50 that you'll pass. It depends on what these things are that are wrong that gave you a yellow. And of course red means you absolutely fail. Do not push this erase button until such time as all repairs are completed. You really need to keep this stuff in memory on the machine um, you know, until they're all completed then wipe then reset the computer at that point. Uh, DTC and advanced DTCs are accessible through here. Uh, freeze frame data and module data, okay, through this button. Of course, this is your computer link and power button. These two buttons here uh, is for your scrolling through your, your menu for your different codes uh, and pages on depending on what other areas you're in. And of course, your enter button is here. Very simple, very basic, easy to use. Anybody can use this thing. All right, what comes in the box? Well, you get a code machine, okay? You get your, your diagnostics tool. Okay, I just powered it up. There's nothing in here right now for memory. Just show you it powered up. It looks pretty cool. Very lightweight, nice feeling in the hand. All right, um, there's your um, data link port. That's where your cable plugs into. Just so you uh, get a basic idea here, because uh, <laughs> this you won't find in the instruction manual. Um, when you go to hook up your link cable, just go until the screws stop on their own, okay? And then just one little extra tweak like that on each side, and that is definitely secure. Do not over tighten these things, okay? It's not good for the connectors when you over tighten them. Now, the other end, of course, is your OBD2 connector in this machine, and that plugs into your data port in your car, and that's usually on the driver's side under the dash. Now, so you get those two. You also get, with this unit, because it only uses two batteries, they give you two batteries with it. You're set to rock and roll. You don't even have to leave the store yet, and you can scan your vehicle, just in case you gotta go back in and get some parts. Um, real handy that way. You got a USB cable, this hooks into your computer. Um, OBD, uh, PC Link software and reference files. Um, you got free updates, by the way, on this machine for the life of the tool. Okay, this tool could last you 30 years. You got free updates, you know. Um, so it's really cool. Um, you get a quick reference guide. Now this quick reference guide, it tells you everything from powering on the unit, um, how to plug it in, how not to plug it in, um, that sort of stuff. It tells you about your DTCs, your freeze frame stuff, erasing trouble codes. Um, gives you a little bit of extra data here, um, extra DTCs, like enhanced DTCs, tells you about that and how to access them. Not every vehicle, by the way, has enhanced DTCs. Um, you know, so it gives you a bit of information. The full manual for this thing and all their scanners, for each and every scanner they make, is actually on their website. So you go to support and downloads, and then you click the tab down below, select your model number of scanner, and you download the, the manual in the appropriate language that you want, whether it be Spanish, English, or French, okay? Now, getting into more of this, okay, like I said, plug and play, 15 seconds, you got your answer. Code, definition, freeze frame, software, internet, updatable all the time, erase code, auto relink, 
uh, memory, okay, shop report, languages, as well as repair solutions. Now, with a shop report, you can do up a shop report for your mechanic. Get your mechanic to do the work, but you read the thing uh, and saved all that money, and uh, you know, which is a benefit to you. And if you do them up a shop report with the repair solutions combined, um, it will also give him the most likely repair for each one of those codes and definitions, okay? Um, and it's going to give you an approximate cost of what this is going to cost to fix your vehicle. Now, the costs are approximate, okay? They're not written in stone or anything. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could even wipe all that information out, you know, because um, your mechanic doesn't need to see estimated costs, right? Um, but um, it's going to give him a whole whack load of information all at once and save over an hour of time at least, okay? So that's an hour worth of labor for you to save. It's a reading you get to save on. The first read alone um, can save, can just pay for the tool right there, you know? Because, I mean, a, a, a reading and then all the other info you got to find out to fix all this stuff, I mean, that, that, that definitely would pay for the tool, you know? And then after that, it owes you nothing. You know, and then the only, and then if you want to just keep an eye on things once in a while, you know, you can just scan it randomly just for the hell of it and see if there's anything that's going on that's not setting off a check engine light, perhaps. You know, because, um, you know, you never know. Maybe your check engine light burnt out, you know, so you may actually have a service light and not even know it, right? So just check your car once in a while anyway. Um, you can do that. If you're going to go out and buy another vehicle, what better tool to have with you shopping for another used vehicle, private deal or from a dealer? Even if that dealer is a used car dealer only or a new and used dealer, take your reader with you. Plug her in, scan the sucker, and then say, okay, we got some codes here. Want to bargain some price? Okay, private deal is the best too because you plug it in, you show the guy, hey, you got... Uh, mission stuff here uh, you got a couple other codes here and these are the definitions uh, and the definition alone it doesn't tell you how to fix it but it tells you what it is you know cylinder six misfire um, blah 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 whatever it is right it's gonna tell you and it's like bargaining power right there okay now do you want to go and fix this stuff and I'll give you what you want for for this or less bargain price so code reader is kind of handy to have for that um, so they are a great invention. Um, this particular one though, like I said, four out of five stars. I love it, it's an awesome tool. Uh, I got a great deal on the price, but like I said, even at 200 bucks, I would have paid it, and I'm still getting way more than my money's worth. Because like I said, you could, I couldn't find another one anywhere from any manufacturer that I looked at for a $200 reader that's gonna give me all this stuff on the display to begin with, but also give me the emission status. The other thing that's important was important to me was the the support from the company. Um, you know, yeah, I got a code and I got a definition. Now how do I fix it? This has access on their on their site via the program to give you the fixes, the most likely things that are going to repair that problem, and estimated costs of repairing that, especially if you take it into a mechanic. You can print out the shop report even for yourself, so you got a hard copy, so you can check things off of the list one at a time. Okay, I did this, 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 and done. And then when you get it all done, reread your car and see what's no longer an error, right? Because those errors should just disappear, you know. And um, your check engine light may or may not turn off by itself, so you still might have to reset it all after, um, you know. But don't do it until all your repairs are actually done. You know, and um, although, otherwise you may have to drive two or three hundred miles to make the thing come back on again to recheck your codes and see what comes up now. So don't delete it right away. You know, as you fix things, it should knock it off the list each time you reread it. Um, so great, great company, great tool. Uh, the price is right. Never mind what I paid, but even at two hundred, great price. Um, a lot for your money, guys. A lot for your money. Um, so I'm really um, happy with this tool. I am going to buy their two-in-one uh, scan tool because I do want to get the ODB1 access. Um, and I'm actually going to set that tool up strictly just for doing ODB1. And eventually when I get the money, I'm going to buy their creme de creme top of the line tool that does everything. And, you know, for 500 bucks, why not? You know, 
um, and it's going to do everything. So, um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if it took a really long time, I'm really sorry. You know, you guys, uh, I'm long-winded, but I also like to get as much detail in there as possible for you uh, to give you the best possible information and a review uh, that I can possibly do. I'm sure I missed a few things here and there, uh, but, you know, if you got questions, I'll do my very best to answer them. And uh, we'll definitely see you on the next video. Have a great day.